click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in the previous lecture we have did carboxylic acid. We have also did the definition as well as we have also did the IUPC nomenclature for the carboxylic acid. So now we are concerned with the structure of carboxylic group. So now let us understand that what is the structure of the carboxyl group. So friends, we already know that is the carboxylic acid that consists of the main thing that is the carboxyl group that is C double bond O O H. So what is the structure of this carboxyl group? So that is what we are going to talk about here. So let us understand the structure of the carboxyl group. It has been found that is the carbon which is of the carboxyl group that is of C double bond O O H. Here I am talking about this carbon atom of the carbonyl group or of this carboxyl group. So it has been found that this carbon it undergoes a hybridization of sp2 so that's the reason that the bond angle that it will create whenever i will compare this carbon this carbon and this o the bond angle it will be nothing but it will be 120 degree so similarly we can also compare it with the oxygen so suppose this oxygen this carbon and this oxygen even this will make an angle of that is 120 degree approximately so therefore the bond angle between carbon carbon and oxygen or we could say the bond angle between the oxygen carbon and oxygen it will be 120 degree so this is how basically the carbon in the carboxyl group or the carbon in the carbon group is basically undergoing sp2 hybridization so this was related to the structure of it but let me give you more information related to this one we understand that is the oxygen that consists of lone pair of electrons so here also the oxygen consists of lone pair of electrons and that is what we can write in this way but this double bond between the oxygen and the carbon and here basically the carbon is also present along with that of this oxygen which also consists of the lone pair of electrons so obviously this will undergo resonance or this will undergo that is delocalization of electrons so that is how basically the delocalization of electron can be done on this carbon and this oxygen or it can be on this carbon and this oxygen so that is the reason that due to the delocalization of electron the carbon in the carboxyl group is basically less electrophile compared to that of the aldehyde and ketone so for aldehyde let me recall it that is if we recall about the aldehyde or the carbonyl group that was being present in the aldehyde so here we understand that is the oxygen is basically partially negative while thereby the carbon it becomes partially positive thereby making the carbon to be more electrophile but here basically the carbon which is associated with the oxygen as well as the another oxygen and we also understand that this oxygen it undergoes delocalization of electron so that's the reason that the carbon here it is less electrophile compared to that of an aldehyde which consists of this carbon group so this was the structure related to the carboxylic group that was been present in the carboxylic acid so thank you friends for watching this video i hope you have understood this topic very clearly and i hope i will see you next time so till then don't forget to subscribe eager channel thank you so much